Hi, everyone. I'm so glad that you tuned in for this portion of Welcome Home because I have a kind of a little mini announcement to make for you all. I have a special guest with me today. His name is Dr. Roger Basson from the Basson Plastic Surgery Center. Now, when you hear plastic surgery, you think what? Facelift. No, I did not have a facelift, but I did have a procedure done, thanks to Dr. Basson, that made me not look mad all the time, that made me not look sad or like I've been crying because Dr. Basson, first of all, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here with us today. Thank you for having me. The first time you saw me, you thought I'd been crying, right? You saw the bags under my eyes. You thought I was an unhappy person, right? Not particularly, but if you say so. <laughs> but you did recognize that there was something that could be done that would make me maybe a little more um, happy looking, right? Tell, tell our audience today what you did for me. Okay, well, first of all, when you came to see me, you were concerned about what we're talking about, the under eyelid bags that yes. give you a little bit of a tired and a, yes. little bit of a little bit of an angry look. And people mm -hmm. say, did you sleep well last night? And you're tired of hearing that because right. you did sleep well last exactly. night. Exactly, or that I'd been crying. I got that all the time. Have you been crying? I'm like, I hardly ever cry. Right, and, and, I, and these are the types of things that I hear from my patients when yes. we're talking about these bags, this SS skin and the fat that, mm -hmm. that appears underneath the, the lower eyelids. Yes. So what we did for you was what, what's called in medical jargon, a lower eyelid blepharoplasty in more layman's terms it's cosmetic lower eyelid surgery mm -hmm. and what we did was we were able to do it under local anesthesia you were a great patient oh thank you I was talking to you I remember you talking, talking to you the us whole time the whole yes. time and you know you were not put to sleep under general anesthesia right. which is a whole nother exactly. conversation in light of what happened to Joan Rivers recently uh, and whatnot yes. and and right. um, you know the risks associated with these types of procedures exactly. so we do prefer to do these under local anesthesia for your safety yes. you were a great patient and when about 30 minutes we were able to take care of that excess skin and the mm -hmm. fat pockets underneath your eyelids mm -hmm. and you had a little bit of bruising and swelling for you know seven to ten days or so yes and now you look the way you feel well it was a wonderful procedure and I thank you for that and the reason that I'm t telling everybody about this today is because there is a scripture that talks about the outer appearance who looks at the outer appearance man does who looks at the inner appearance that's God God looks at the heart and I want the heart to be right and I want Dr. Basson that to be the most beautiful part of me However, because man looks at the outward appearance, I kind of had to come to this. It was kind of a come to Jesus type thing for me where I had to say, is it okay? I'm so vain, but I do want my face to look decent so that I can be a better influence, so that I can have uh, a better witness to people. And people won't be saying to me, why are you crying? Why are you sad? So help our viewers today, Dr. Basson, with that concept, because I know you see a lot of people who say, oh, you know, I'm going to have this done, but I want to keep it a secret, or is it really all right to be this vain? How do you reconcile that? All right, well, pretty pretty simple. I mean, your your struggle that you had is very common with a lot of our patient base. It still has that type of feeling that, oh, maybe I shouldn't be doing something cosmetically. Is this mm -hmm. really the right thing for me, or am I going to be viewed correctly in that regard, or I'm going to view myself in a, in a different right. way? But my response to that is, why do you buy a new blouse? Why do you yeah. buy new shoes? Why do you buy new pants? Because when you, you look better, you feel better. This is really just kind of a direct correlation or a direct influence of that, but taken on a little bit of a different angle. Yes. And you know, what I hear from a lot of our patients as well, and, and same from what echoed from what I heard from you, is when I look in the mirror, the person that's looking back at me is not the person I feel inside. Right. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to bridge that disconnect. Yeah. And a lot of times our patients, you know, it, it's great for me to see the physical difference from mm -hmm. before and after mm -hmm. but the real reward for me is the emotional appearance because when my patients come back just like you yeah. post-operatively and you see that smile it's because now you feel the way you look yeah. and you and it's all in concert and everything's been taken down and those walls have been kind of taken down and and you're back to being whole in that That's regard. Right. And I love the fact that Dr. Basson, it is minimal risk and it is very, very non-invasive. I didn't want to be cut. I didn't want my face to be pulled back. I didn't want all of the radical kind of surgery that's out there. And I'm sure that there are times that, that there is a need for that with certain people. For me, I really didn't want that. I want to age. I want to age gracefully. And I want to not look 20 years old or 40 years old. I want to look my age, but I want to look the best that I can look at my age. And you did that for me. So 
thank you very much for that. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> Tell us about the other centers that you have. I know that I went to your Orlando office, but you have offices where else in Central okay, Florida? Okay, so we have office. We have an office in Melbourne, Florida. We have an office in Orlando, and we have also an office in the Villages, and we also have an office in Tampa. Okay, so you are all over the place. Dr. Bastin, is there ever a time where someone would come to you, because I didn't know what I wanted you to do for me other than the bags. I knew that the bags had to go because they drew me down and made me look very, very tired and sad. But what if somebody comes to you and you determine that they really don't need something or you determine what they do need, which they didn't even know they needed? Are you kind of able to do that with, with, without being biased? Yeah, I sure, I sure do. And, and a lot of times what I find, and I, I tell the doctors who are training with me that I spend kind of half my day, day telling my patients no. Really? <laughs> That's not the right thing for you. Uh -huh. And I really, the most important thing is for me to keep everything looking natural. We don't want anybody yes. to be the person that people point at when they're walking down the street, plastic surgery, plastic surgery. We don't yeah. want that. We want you to just be the freshened version of yes. you. And the most Good. rewarding thing, once again, for me is when my patients come back in, they say, well, I went to my reunion and they're all looking at me and saying, did you lose weight? Did you change your hair? You, you look so well rested. <laughs> and that's natural look. And that's yeah. what we're all looking for in these types of procedures. Nothing overly dramatic or too, you know, too plastic surgery looking. That's we right. want to and give that's you natural what I got. look. And that's exactly what I've gotten from people who didn't know uh, ahead of time that I was going to do this. They would say things to me like, have you lost weight? And what have you done? There's something different. Are you using a new kind of makeup? Those are the kind of comments that I've had that I like. So my, my procedure was not really radical and it was not something that was going to change my appearance, which I thank you for. And I know that your surgeon hands are very, um, very capable and very, very professional. So thank you for that. Oh, well, you're welcome. So let's talk about, um, there, there was something about the other procedures that you're doing, though, that I think our viewers would be interested in knowing, because I know you go to the villages a lot, and you do a lot of educational and demonstrative type things. What are people doing out there now? Okay, well, some of the stuff that's really kind of caught the eye of the media or whatnot are, are some of the stuff we really try to stay progressive and stay on the tip of technology. Um, I was fortunate enough to be invited up to New York to be on Dr. Oz's show a couple times. Oh, great. To, to demonstrate two procedures that I actually own the trademarks on. On, which are aqua lipo and natural fill. Aqua lipo is just a very gentle form of liposuction. So everybody who thinks liposuction, you always think those old style extreme makeover shows where it looks like someone's <laughs> getting massacred oh, with a metal rod. You don't do that. Well, we do a similar type of procedure, <laughs> but it's much more gentle. Our patients Good. are able to be, be awake and go back to work the next day. Mm -hmm. So we're able to not destroy or harm any of your native tissues, which you really need. Right. And, the, and the liposuction is so much more gentle. And we're able to use that fat now that we're taking out with this type of liposuction and use that for filling in oh, areas good. of the face where right. people have lost volume. Right. And we're able to do that permanently. So for a lot of patients who are using the Juvederm or the Restylane that they have to come in and fill that mm. once every six yeah. to nine months, I'm able to use your own fat yeah. and fill some of the areas of loss of volume and that's a permanent result. Mm. Give volume back in the cheeks, give volume back in the areas where you've lost it around your mouth and your lips. Also we're using it for hands, mm -hmm. buttocks, and right. breasts as well. Okay, okay. Very interesting. Very interesting. Well, I, this was a brand new thing for me, something I never thought, viewers, that I would do in my life, but I did it. I'm glad I did it. I'm glad that I'm sharing it with you today so that you can know that there are things sometimes that we can do to make us more winsome on the outside as well as the most important, which is obviously on the inside as well. So we thank Dr. Basson for being here with us today. Thank you for being here with us. And now we're going to go to the kitchen to see what's cooking. So stay with us.